What's going on guys? Chad here back with you on the RC Models and More channel. And uh, today, exciting day, DJI GO app got updated, Inspire 2 got released, and the Phantom 4 Pro looks pretty freaking sweet if you ask me. So anyway, we're here to talk about panos, panoramic pictures. Now, I am not that big of a fan of panoramic pictures. I like taking big wide angle shots and stitching two or three of them together. Um, I really don't get into the multiple rows or anything like that. I don't really care about the 180 or 360 degree panos because yeah, they look cool on Facebook, but who wants to spin around in their desk chair on their smartphone in order to see them and everything else. So go over a couple things here. Um, first of all, you want to try to do a pano on a good day when it's not that windy. You want to basically try to take a picture of the sky where the exposure is at a constant level. Um, because when you go to stitch them together, you'll notice that the different exposure settings will be different. Um, so you can see on my screen how it's changing the, sh the shutter speed and everything right here. So, you know, you want to try to make that consistent. So we'll just uh, spin around here and face uh, the usual direction here. That's my usual target line right there, right in the middle, that little white building. Now, the first couple modes I'm going to show you, you can do this with Leechy or you can do it with uh, DJI GO. Um, basically, how I like to do my pan panos is um, I'll use the grid lines and the edge of the screen. So if I want, for example, that target to be that white building to be in the middle, let me straighten my horizon a little bit here. Alright, if I want it to be in the middle, I will just move over to the edge of the screen and take a picture, bring it back to the center, take a picture, bring it over to this side of the screen, and take a picture. And that'll get you a pretty cool wide angle shot. Um, the angle of the sensor on the Mavic, I think it's like 78.8 or 79.8 or something like that. So uh, the other cool feature I found as far as taking panos is using, uh, oh, what button do I have it set up on? Not that one. Uh, the portrait mode. So this will capture everything all in one. So basically I can do the same thing. It's not gonna be as wide, but it will be taller and capture everything. So it really depends on what kind of subject you're looking for and looking to take a picture of, but this will get the clouds and everything. So I can snap a picture there, snap a picture in, with the object in the center, and then go back here the edge of the field cool so there is that so now with lychee let's say we want to do a panoramic and we want to do one of these big crazy ones that everybody likes to do um, let's say we want it to be three rows tall we want our top angle to be around 10% so we can cover pretty good eye of the sky. Uh, three photos per row. 90 degrees on the width um, because of the camera sensor size. If you bump it up to 100, you see how it says nine photos right here in start. If you go over 90 degrees, uh, the size of the camera sensor uh, it kind of knows that it's not wide enough so it will basically do uh 10. so uh it actually do yeah 
it'll add a B11. It'll add two more pictures. So um, wait time before each photo. You can set that uh, basically so the craft will stabilize and your horizon will stabilize. Um, and the thing about Litchi is you need to rotate your aircraft to where you want it to start. So it's pretty tricky. So if you look at my aircraft down there, say it's pointing at zero degrees or however right now, uh, and I'm doing a 90 degree shot, I'm gonna need to rotate it all the way around to about right there, which you can see it's gonna be taking my building out of view. And that should be pretty close. And this is where we want it to actually start. So, quick start, and watch it do its magic. So now we're going to have this huge, basically unrealistic, flat picture um, that we're going to take and create because um, we're going to stitch these together. I use Lightroom. Uh, you can use pretty much whatever you want. But I'm going to show everybody just how to do it in Lightroom just because I think it's the best tool that you can get it's versatile and with the Adobe Creative Cloud it's like 10 bucks a month and you get unlimited updates for it so you really can't beat that so there is our nine picture panorama and when it's done it's gonna stop it and go right back into GPS mode now I'm gonna I made the the general Mavic mistake and I forgot to uh, do my focus when I took my first pictures so let's just uh, do those again real quick uh, let's go into grid lines here oh where are grid lines grid lines are in here grid lines grid lines and diagonals done all right so let's uh go down here and now let's rotate over get my building in the edge of the frame there click again you can do this in dji go you don't need to use uh let's do this but if you want to do your big 180 degree or 360 degree panos you're going to need to so there's that and let's do the portrait portrait mode again which i just love this portrait mode for some reason because it just kind of makes those big shots and makes them a lot easier it's not going to be as wide but it will be cool Two, three. Okay, so there you have it. That's basically uh, how you would do uh, panos. Um, pretty easy. If you want to do anything more creative, um, let's say you want to do a full 180 degree type of panorama or 360 all the way around you um, you know you can fill out your rows what angles you want and everything else um, it's pretty cool it's pretty flexible but like I said 
I'm not much into the panos. Um, I just like nice wide angle shots. And I guess it depends on where you're flying too. You know, if you got something cool to take a big wide angle or a big 360 degree panoramic at, then by all means do it. Um, but uh, I just haven't found that type of place uh, yet. So um, I'm gonna finish flying around this battery and mess around a little bit here, and then um, we'll uh, import these into Lightroom, and I'll show you guys uh, what you get when you stitch them together and how everything looks. So be right back. All right, guys, here we are in Lightroom. Now, Lightroom is pretty cool and pretty easy to use. Uh, the big thing about it is that it's all about organizing your photos. So here are all of the photos that we have taken. And we ha I have uh, copied them over to the hard drive from the card. So I'm going to check all the ones that I want to bring over and I'm going to click import and now it is going to bring them all in. So if we look we have oh, one two three one two three one two three okay so there's our nine picture pano here is our three picture uh, pano in the widescreen type of deal. And here is our three picture in the portrait mode. So it really doesn't get a whole lot easier than this. There's some basic things that you should do to all of your pictures uh, beforehand. Um, just kind of a quick uh, type of deal, um, which will allow you to uh, develop them a lot faster so we're in the library right now and if we click on uh, develop it's basically just gonna start loading them one at a time so I want to go to the library first and let's start with something simple let's start with our uh, three picture one so I'm going to highlight the and hold command key and highlight all three of these right here. I'm going to right click, go down to photo merge and click on panorama. Now it's going to create a preview and we'll make this bigger. And there is the shot and you're probably looking at it like, oh wow, that looks horrible. Well, remember everything was spinning around uh, so with all the camera distortion and everything, that's basically uh, what we're getting. Now you have a couple adjustments up here that will do a lot of this automatically. If we click on spherical, that gets us a little bit closer. Cylindrical, that's going to get us, eh, you know, kind of like there. GoPro shot, whatever. Perspective. Um, and you can see right here it says unable to match a lens profile. That's basically because the you know the lens for uh, the DJI Mavic, <clears throat> the camera size is not built into Lightroom yet. Um, you can actually stretch and play with this yourself. And you can see how everything is kind of, you know, everything looks pretty straight. The horizon looks pretty straight. Um, but, the you know, the road is bent like right here. Um, and everything's kind of just kind of bubbled in right there. Um, I found so far that spherical pretty much works the best. And then uh, basically you can warp it back in or out this type of way. Um, let's try and see how one of the other ones, the cylindrical will look. 
So basically we're pretty much stuck if we want to have a nice wide angle is we're going to have to do some cropping. So we can just start pulling it until everything gets kind of curved, kind of eyeball it a little bit. That looks pretty good right there. Uh, click on auto crop and you see basically what happened there. Um, so that... That would basically be our three shot wide angle pano. And if we click merge, it's basically going to create one of those, create that, and it's going to drop it in probably right here. Once it gets done thinking. And we can go to develop. And this is where you can uh, start uh, making all of your different type of adjustments that you want to do. Now, I do want to stress that I'm not a super Lightroom expert or nothing. I've really only been dabbling in it for the past eh, six, seven months since I got my Phantom 3. Um, down here where it says camera calibration is actually... Um, no, lens correction. This is where basically you can load your different uh, uh, profiles and like, you know, GoPro, Phantom 3, all of them are there. Um, so that way it will allow you to, uh, you can see DJI, um, you know, there's no support for the Mavic yet. So they don't have that sensor in there, which stinks because you can't do, uh, it won't uh, line that up for you automatically. So that's where you would normally correct for curvature and everything like that. But, uh, you know, it's pretty easy just to play around with and everything. Um, just all your different adjustments that you can do. You know, just changing the color temperature a little bit, warming things up, play with exposure a little bit to bring out the clouds or whatever you feel like uh, you want to do with your picture. Turn up the clarity, make things pop out, all kinds of cool stuff. So there's lots of videos on YouTube to watch. Definitely check some out and you'll see how things go. But... This is a cool shot that took no effort. This can be done with the DJI Go app or with the Litchi app. Um, let's take a look at our three shot uh, portrait mode. So again, highlight them all, right click, photo merge, panorama. Unable to merge the photos. Hmm. That stinks. There must be something going on that it does not like. And I'm not an expert, and so I can't tell you why it doesn't like it. Try a cylindrical. Let's see. Oh. We didn't want that one. That's why. Now let's try it. Ah. Not HDR. That's coming up in the next couple of videos. One, two, three. Right click. Photo merge, panorama. There we go. All right. So there's our big old boy that we made.
using the portrait mode. And we can just warp that just a bit and get, and it actually does a pretty good job on everything. It's basically just stretching out the whole picture from the center inside out. So, I mean, that looks pretty cool. Turn off the auto crop feature. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Spherical will do anything different with it. Looks like it makes it a little wider. Still going to have to auto crop it. The road looks like it's bending a little bit. And of course, everything looks here. Cylindrical. Cylindrical looks uh, pretty curved. Uh, perspective is about the best. So let's just click on merge. Let it build that one. And again, you could do the same thing. You could take it inside of develop and uh, you know start making changes. Change your color temperatures, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks, all that good stuff. All right, finally, let's try and see what happens with this big old nine picture that we took. Panorama. So this would be a big old boy. Oh, look at that. It totally doesn't know what to do with all that. There's cylindrical, spherical. Spherical is obviously about as close as we're going to get. So it looks like we're going to get a little bit of curvature on that. It's totally nuts down here, you know, because the gimbal was pointed down. <clears throat> so obviously if you're going to do a panorama, you know, the, the rule of thumb would be you definitely want to take more rows left and right than you do up and down because you can see how these are going to turn out right here. So that's just a learning thing that I just learned and that you just learned too. So we'll get rid of that one because that one isn't going to be that good. So here are the, let's take a look again at the two that we, we created. There's your wide, super wide one, one, two, three in the DJI Go app or in Litchi, just lining things up. Same thing with uh, the portrait mode here. One, two, three. No problems. Real easy to do. It's super fun to do. And uh, don't let anybody tell you that, uh, you know, you're doing things right or you're, or, or you're doing things wrong or whatever. Because really when it comes to photos, it's all about what you like and what you want to do. You know, if you want to go abstract and super sharpen and um, just totally, you know, go crazy with whatever, mess up your histogram, do whatever you want to do, you know, I mean, that's just cool. You know, I mean, obviously it's not real, but that's just a cool picture, you know, and you don't like it. Just turn it all the way down and there's a whole different look that's totally soft. You know, if you want crazy vibrant colors and crazy clarity at the same time and crazy saturation or black and white, no saturation. You know, there's just so many cool things you can do with Lightroom. Just a little bit of color like that. Awesome. Ten bucks a month, Adobe Creative Cloud. Can't beat it. All right. Got any questions? Let me know. Please comment, like, subscribe. Talk to you guys later.
Peace.